child in time is totally out there on one level. You know, it's not at all a conventional piece. Anyone who's lost someone they love or care about will be touched by this script. The writing's so good that it speaks to anyone who's grieving or been through a grief process. I think they'll recognize the truth of the, the writing. I think it's a very rich story, which would touch a lot of people. It's a really unusual story. It has a very tragic, dark premise, the, the loss of a child, but it opens up into the most unusual places. It's, it's not really a study of grief. It's not really a police procedural. It's about healing and it's about love. And it has a kind of really unusual quality of other about it. Stephen's adaptation is both really faithful to the novel in that regard. It embraces those elements, and then it makes it a very screen-worthy version in that it has a sort of emotional through line. I know that she's out there. I have no idea where or where to begin looking. It's hard to accept that we're helpless, but we are. And all we can do is be here ready and sane. To get a chance to do an adaptation of an Ian McEwan book is like discovering treasure. I'd read the book probably about 25 years previously, and it stays with you. It, it, it's a book that just stays with you. It's, it's just got an incredible depth, incredible tone. Child in Time is a little different because it's not one moment, but there is a huge change that happens in the main character. So that's what I love. He's able to go very deep into our consciousness, our imagination, and know what it feels like when you're in crisis. What is it you want? You want me to give up? Yes. I want you to give up because you always let me down. You never bring her home and you're drinking too much. I'm supposed to drink too much. I can't live here anymore!